comment. That happens sometimes too. All right, guys. Let's see what happens in this matchup. Here's some fun facts for these guys. Tom, I'm going to let you introduce these guys a little bit. Now, these are going to be the same facts for each of the matchups. So if you only want to pick a few from each of them, I think that'll be great. All right. Yeah, I'll start with the first bunch. Uh, Mr. Alex, X Starcraft 2 and NFS Cybersport Warrior. I have no idea what NFS is, but that sounds pretty cool. Uh, SolarX 97 and AutoCAD 92. So you probably, uh, uh, and just like me, I, I started SolarWorks in 97. Um, let's go over to Airwork. Used most versions of SolarWorks from 99 to 21 on Shape since 2020. Uh, so both these guys are, uh, you know, longtime users of CAD. Uh, original creator of the TTT part mass table feature script. Excellent. Yeah, uh, that's the, oh, that, so. that's a feature script that we saw. Um, we saw Imants using that earlier and basically it just shows up on the screen and shows you the mass in all three materials and in inches oh. and in, in grams all in one spot. So very, very handy utility. Um, we have seen matches where I think it was with Imance where uh, he grabbed the wrong one and then copy and pasted it. So it could have some downsides <laughs> too. Uh, so I could definitely see it going either way. Sounds super handy. All right, guys. Well, this first matchup between Mr. Alex and Airwick, Lafia versus Canada. SolidWorks versus Onshape begins in three, two, one, go. What is the mass of this part in XXXX grams? The tolerance for this one is going to be plus or minus three grams. So these guys are grabbing a screen capture of the print and they are trying to put it onto their second screen and then come up with a strategy. And they are both already in their CAD systems. It just happened that quickly. They're both already in their CAD systems coming up with a solution for this. And once again, two different experts from two different parts of the world using two different CAD systems. And yet they both decided to start this thing the same way with a circle on the top plane. Very, very cool. Yeah, this kind of part, there's all kinds of things that are, if you just use the tools, you know, as is, like they're going to intersect and you have to get rid of all kinds of stuff. It's going to be interesting to see what they do here. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly correct. And that's the, the kind of parts that we look for here on the Two Tall Toby tournaments are the parts that, you know, if you just model them all up straight forward, you're going to end up with a bunch of spaghetti in the middle and you're going to have to figure yeah. out how to handle it. <laughs> I think for me, I think when I tested this part, I actually did it with a revolve for that first feature. So interesting to see our runners opting to oh. use extrude instead of revolve. Yeah, if it's constant thickness everywhere. And we see both of our runners already have three features in their tree. So these guys are cruising. I think at this point I might have like had a game plan. <laughs> these guys already have three features in their tree. They're already uh using uh using their you know their their solid work skills or their on shape skills, both basically on the same feature as well. Pretty yeah, cool to see yeah. both of them getting to that tombstone at the same time. And now Mr. Alex looks like he's going to be trying to use some of the SolidWorks contour selection tools to create that feature. Uh, looks like he was able to make short work of that feature. Now opting for that cut down through the middle. We see Eric. I saw Eric was considering using delete face there. He had it. He had it in his mind. I could tell. Wow. Both hey, I, don't, I don't know what the tools are in uh, on shape. So. Yeah, they're pretty similar. I mean, you're going to see pretty similar tools to what we have in SolidWorks. Um, but, uh, wow, these guys are really neck and neck. It's hard to see who's going to pull ahead on this one. I'm going to be ready. we got to be yeah, ready be close. in the admin <laughs> booth. we got to be ready with the answer here. Wow, wow, wow. And Mr. Alex comes in with an answer. Four, five, two, four grams. And that is correct. Wow. Wow, these guys are uh, fast. Also, uh, Eric is selecting a number. Eric's right, right, right behind him, 4669. I do really like that number. That is not correct. And uh, Mr. Alex, wow, that was fast. Guys, let's give a GG in the chat. This is this is going to bother, bother Eric. He's trying to figure out, like, how is that not right? What did I do wrong on that? It looks like maybe those bosses are a little too long. Just kind of looking I, down. No, I think the, um, the, the holes don't go through on the three. Oh. 